My name is uh, Dr. Lalit Kanodia. Uh, I came back from America after my uh, PhD at, at MIT and joined the Tata Group in 1967. I, in fact, founded and headed uh, the largest Indian IT company, TCS, as its chief executive. And then, of course, coming from an entrepreneurial family, I ventured into my own business. So the extended family has a, a variety of businesses. We have four uh, IT companies, one of which is listed. Uh, we have an airline in America. And we have a fertilizer plant in Durgapur. So it's been a wonderful journey. I would say one is education. Second, I would say passion. And the third, I would say is persistence. Well, it's, an, it's indeed an honor to be recognized by the peers. And I'm grateful to Huran and Well 361 for the honor I received today. Uh, I think the greatest honor and award that I have got is in a way, I really founded the Indian IT industry, heading the very first company in that business. And you know what it has done for India. So I claim 1% of that credit, uh, not more than that. And that uh, keeps me going. Uh, that's a great honor that I have. Well, the most difficult part of my entrepreneurial journey was when I started, there were no PE funds, there was no venture capital. Banks were not willing to give you money because you had no collateral. See, so it, it was a real challenge. The first 10 odd years was a struggle. But then when it gets, gets going, uh, then it's fun. I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's not been easy uh, because success does not only depend on, on your education, particularly in India. You need networking, for example. Uh, you need public relations, for example. Uh, and that takes time to build. So it did take its time, but finally we have succeeded. I think we are uh, doing well. As a, the entire family group is now almost $2 billion. So I have no regrets. I've, I've had fun. Well, for, a, for an entrepreneur who's starting from zero, creating the wealth is the most difficult. Uh, I didn't inherit any significant wealth. So the creation was a difficult part of it. The second generation will have a different challenge. And uh, they are in business now, and they're doing extremely well. Uh, but these challenges are different as you progress. The third generation would have a, a third challenge. Well, you know, if you look at the world around you, and you see the most successful and most valuable companies. Uh, Microsoft started in 1975. Google started thereafter. Apple started thereafter. They didn't exist. Right. So you'll find and the companies that existed, like United States Steel, for example, uh, have you know, not disappeared, but they've lost, lost value. So really, we can't predict uh, who's going to be successful. And therefore, the MSMEs and the startups, I think, are the future of India. And they must be encouraged. And you can't predict which will succeed and which will fail. I tend to love, at this age, autobiographies. So whether, whether it's an autobiography of uh, a Jack Welch, or for that matter, a Lou Gerstner, or anybody like that, I think there's so much learning there that you get from those books. So I still, whenever I see a book like that, even if it's not an autobiography, like Steve Jobs' example, even they are very valuable, so I enjoy them.
have decided to name it is 10 years too early and 10 years too late.